I just want to have a healer with me. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping the, the guy that we're going to get who's already been basically touted as the mage, hopefully he's fucking got heals. At the very least. Get two years covering the rule of a great king in your state. Aren't you in, from, like, aren't you in India, Sword Sage? <laughs> also, welcome to the stream, Sword Sage. How you doing, man? I know India has states. I just meant, like, it's not quite... The same kind of history lessons we would have in the U.S. That's all I'm trying to say. You guys are, would obviously have more catered to your heritage's history. That's all I meant. And your, you know, your local history. That's all I meant. So yes, it makes sense that there was kings in that area. That's all I was trying to get at. <laughs> you were forced to memorize all the state capitals? I don't remember when we started... When did we have to memorize the state capitals? I'm trying to remember what grade that was for me. I definitely remember having to do that. I, think, well, I want to say it was like fifth grade or fourth grade or something. I don't remember the exact grade. You were forced to memorize all the presidents? Ew, I wouldn't have wanted to do that. We definitely learned all their names, but we didn't have to memorize them for any tests or anything like that. We definitely had to memorize and remember certain ones and which number they were, but not all of them. That would have been... Like, of course... It was basically just, you know, the more famous ones that people remember, you know. Washington, Lincoln, that kind of stuff. Oh, it was 10th grade, Dragon? So, okay. Even in my U.S. history in high school, we didn't do that. We did go through all the the presidents, but we never had to memorize all of them. You need to list out one of each of their achievements, too? Dang. That's... That's quite a lot of, uh, information to try to remember. Dude, this battle rate, though. Can we get a little bit of fucking love? Good lord. It was fourth grade for you when you had to memorize them all allegory? Alright. That's probably about right. It's either fourth or fifth grade, I want to say. It was around there. Oh, I still remember all the fucking capitals, too. Well, at least I think I do. I might have forgotten a few here and there, but if I really think about it, I could probably come up with all of them. I definitely wouldn't be able to do it fast. And I never I never was in, like, the class that learned the song that you could sing all the capitals. I remember that some kids knew that. I'm like, where the fuck did they learn that? I never learned that. The only thing you know about America's school is Christopher Columbus and the Civil War. Wow. Interesting. That's... It's interesting to hear what other places in the world learn... How they learn about U.S. stuff. It's interesting. Definitely. Oh. <laughs> I was like... The question was, how... <laughs> what was the... <laughs> What was the guy who spent the least amount of days in office famous for, the, like, in, in the presidency? He was famous for that, for being the least amount, having the least amount of days in office before he died. True that. Anyway, I'm gonna buy this chainmail, because fuck yeah. Hell yeah. And I'm gonna hold on to the other one, just in case. I don't know what the other guy can equip. I, they made it sound like he can't wear armor, though. Get the fuck out of my way, NPC, please. Thank you. By the way, I did heal, right? Let's see. No! If you press B, it goes to the title screen. I did it again. That's one! Remember how many times I did that in, in fucking Dragon Quest 1? Good lord. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I will agree. I, I think in U.S. history classes and stuff, you don't really learn anything about India. Gotta say. I don't remember anything particularly about India other than what, here's where it is. <laughs> and maybe like a couple small things besides that. But that's really all you get from India. Interesting. 
it's definitely interesting to like compare and contrast the things we learn about each other's countries from your own country. <laughs> Oh yeah, we learned about Gandhi. I mean, not a lot. We, I mean, we, like I said, it's very minor, very minor stuff here and there. All right, where that prince at? I need his help. Where he at? Did he go talk to the king? Let me guess, he left here already too. That son of a bitch. Monkey G, for my loins, heir to my kingdom, thou art returned. Would that thou hast arrived a moment sooner, Prince Kane stood in this very hall, having come in search of thee! But upon learning that thou wert bound for his hometown, he did make haste to return there himself. Now! Ugh. Oh, what a fucking roundabout-ass bullshit this is. Time to go back to his house. Yeah, exactly. I think there was a paragraph about Gandhi in the history books. That's probably about right, Dragon. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Other spiritual type leaders around the world. Probably like a paragraph about each of them. It's about right. Definitely from the world history classes, for sure. I'm trying to remember, like, what, like, what kind of world history we really learned. It was mostly European world history. Or European history, I should call it world history. European history, more than any of the other parts of the world. Mostly, yeah. Gotta love walking around because I'm trying to meet my ancestor. My destined cousin is shit. Basically learned about World War II every year. Yeah, I would say anytime in every, pretty much in every elementary school year, a lot of the world, like stuff that affected all of the world gets brought up. Like the explorers get brought up one year. Just the world wars become our big thing, obviously. And any of the other wars that affected a ton of the different nations all at once. And obviously anything that the U.S. was involved in. All that kind of stuff. Um, anyway. Yeah, I guess... Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna see if he's here first before I start doing anything else. Where's this fuckface at? He better be here this time. God damn it. He doesn't look like he's here. Lo, is this Prince Rookie G I see before me? Well, where my friends? Hmm? Thou searchest yet for my son Cade in, in vain? Strange. He hath not returned unto us. I pray no ill hath fallen and befallen him. Really? He's not here either? Where the fuck did he go, dude? I fucking did it again. Hi, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yes, we get it. Where the hell is your son at, dude? Where the fuck is he? Why isn't he here? I'm confused. I wonder if he went back to the damn wellspring of heroes or whatever. Cause that's where I want to go now. Wait. Before I do that, though... I kind of want to bring another one of those antidote, anecdotal herbs with me. Kind of wish I had enough money to buy the other sword, but it's fine. Tis fine, I suppose. Tis fine. Wait, this the eye drop guy right here. Yep, yep. Let's buy one of these. Yeah, let's buy two of them. Why not? Rats and ants. Interesting. 
So from your first, from your third grade year to your final year, they actually progressed history from prehistoric era all the way up to, um, you know, basically up to World War II in present times. I'm sure. Interesting. I don't think we quite went in order back when I was when we were younger. I feel like they teach you more local stuff when you're younger. And then they start expanding it to more U.S. stuff, and then they expand it to more like world stuff like explorers from the Europe side of things and then by the time you hit about sixth grade they start doing more world history with like actual stuff that happened in Europe and like the world wars and stuff like real more in depth also are these slimes even getting hurt these are new so okay cool we did defeat him a little bit harder than the enemies we've been fighting though take a lot of damage maybe I just missed them a couple times there Anyway, he done. Then obviously when you get to high school, you learn expanded versions of the most of that stuff. Basically what I just listed out is way more... You learn a lot more stuff in depth. More about specific people and stuff. Like, a lot more about them in high school and stuff like that. Well, yeah, and then, like, in high school, the order they do it when you get to, like, 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, in my high school at least, you take the World History class, 10th grade, you take the U.S. History class, 11th grade, and you take, like, the American government politic type shit in 12th grade. And then 9th grade, they kind of, like, gave you a choice of different types of things you could take. Like, a geography class, or, like, an anthropology class. They did it in a weird order, I thought. Like, for ninth grade, for me, I took anthropology. So, like, you know, we talked a lot more about, like, the early, early men. And it kind of, it kind of bled, we kind of bled that into a little bit of geography, geography stuff as well. So, I don't know if this fuckface is going to be here, but I'm about to explore this place without him. I don't give a shit. Maybe he'll just be deeper in here and he got stuck. That'd be fine with me. I guess we'll find out when I go to the second floor and get my ass handed to me. I wanted to walk over here and heal one time. A moment too late, Princess. Uh huh. Yeah, he left for mining hall. We know. We know. We've already gone on this in this circle. God damn it. really just itching to see what's on the next floor. Because at this point, all the enemies we've come across are one-hitter quitters. The choice you had in school was choosing between German and Sanskrit language for 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th grades. So, in U.S., at least at the school I went to, they didn't require any other language learning until you went to high school. And even then, it wasn't... I guess it was required that you, like, take some language classes. You had to at least take, I think, two years of any language that you wanted. And you had, like, we had, like, six choices. But otherwise, after that, it's not required. Lenient requirements, I know. They should have made, they honestly, they should make the language thing more of a requirement. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, I believe we had Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, Khmer, or Khmer, however you pronounce it, so Cambodian, and Latin, I think they had also? I believe they had all those. Okay, what the heck? Tell me, child, hast thou learned to cleanse thyself? Yes, I have. This is pro pro propitious news indeed. A fortune attend thee. Wow, okay. So, that, uh, I, I, there's nothing else in this dungeon? Wow. 
Okay. Well, man, I guess I came back here for nothing. Whoa. I guess I'm just gonna go fucking adventuring without him then. Screw it. I don't give a shit. I'll level up by myself. Also, that was me hitting my knee on my desk. Ow. That feels good. I mean, I'm getting a level up from walking around. It hasn't been... It's not a complete waste, because I'm getting level ups, I'm getting money. Nothing Nothing about walking around in this game is, is a waste. It's just annoying to walk around and not be doing anything. <laughs> Even though I'm trying to be doing something. I don't know where this fuck face went. Clearly not here. At least not that I've seen. I'm just gonna hope that he decided to say fuck it and he went on the adventure without me. I'll find him along the way, I hope. I like that I went around in a circle just for everybody to tell me they didn't. They, I just missed him. God damn it. Anyway, man, mandatory four languages in India, though, huh? English, Marathi, Hindi, and German or Sanskrit, depending on your choice. Interesting. It's a lot of uh, languages, man. The only real reason to learn more than one language is if you intend to travel and you're in an area that has more than one language. Agreed. I do agree with that. Um, although nowadays, with the way work is, and you work with people all around the world, especially where I work, if the other countries didn't know English, we would have a lot of problems communicating a lot of the things we're trying to do, because there's a lot of collaborative work between my where I work and the people in like India, the people in China, the people in... Uh, Guadalajara, Mexico, people in uh, other European countries, like, there's a lot of cross-communication, and without English, we would have problems. So, basically, everybody who works for where I work, on the state side and in, like, India, speaks English. Pretty much. Definitely something I've, I've. It's just interesting to see how that is when, uh, you know, I'm on the American side of things. And I work for a big company like that. Yeah, English definitely has kind of become the, the universal world language that everybody kind of feels like they need to know. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, America. Damn it. All right. Anyway. Sun never sets on the British Empire. Yeah, you can blame them for this ang the original version of this language. And, uh, uh, it's true. It's true. But you can blame us for making everybody else speak it. Even though the British guys did kind of do that first. They were the ones that colonized stuff. Though they got kicked out of most of those places. Uh, eventually. Or they just left. Um, okay, so fuck looking around, I guess, uh, or at least looking in these places. Let's go somewhere new. Fuck it. So we can either go hella far to the, to the east, or the west, rather, and try to check out whatever that town is, or we can try to cut across to the south here and see what's up. So I'm just going to go all the way to the east. Do I want a hint on the prince's whereabouts? No, I do not, X-Gamer. This is a blind playthrough. I would appreciate it if I got zero hints. Like, this is 100% blind. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. But there's so many options and things I can try to do that I'm just going to go ahead and try stuff. After World War II, the British Empire was basically fucked. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much a good way to put it. I checked the brothel for that prince. Same, dude. Just got to find one. I haven't seen a brothel yet. No, it's not that they had an empire in after World War II, Dragon. It's that anywhere that they still kind of occupied, they kind of left after that. I think that's what he's kind of getting at. Oh, this is a cave. I thought it was a town. Thought this was gonna be a 
Well, yeah, exactly, because they were busy rebuilding their own homeland after the big world war. Agreed. I, I'm, I mean, obviously there's a reason for a dragon. Point is, kind of had to scale back after that because they couldn't continue any uh, they couldn't worry about other places when they had to deal, to deal with their own issues at home. It's making you wonder if it's possible to beat this game without party members. I'm guessing Dragon can probably answer that question, or somebody who else who's played this game, which is probably only Dragon in this chat at the moment. <sighs> I'm glad I brought and bought some antidotal herbs, though. Seed of Agility? Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Using it to agility. That's a that's a good roll. I can live with that. Two out of three ain't bad. The answer is yes. You can beat the game without party members. Got it. Probably don't want to do that myself. Kind of going to ruin the experience if that happens. Heal Slime? I'm... Mm, a little concerned. A little concerned. One of these would be problematic enough, probably. Having three of them, though? This is probably a bad idea. They don't seem to deal out any damage, but they definitely heal each other immediately. And this is a never-ending fight. Alright. Alright, we're done with this fight. <laughs> this is never gonna end. Never gonna end. If there was... Oh, he blocks the way, does he? Oh, that's cool. I'm glad I saved it a minute ago. Oh, something tells me this Prince dude is not here. We'll see. I feel like I needed him for that kind of fight. Because he probably has magic that'll take those guys out. It's either that or they're just... If I could do like 18 damage instead of 15, I might be able to kill them. Who knows? Oh, in later games those guys run out of MP? Oh, maybe if I would have persistently kept fighting that, maybe they would have run out of MP. That is possible, I suppose. I didn't even think about that. Uh, can it just be one of these Cobras so I don't have to get poisoned? Oh, you didn't poison me that time. Lucky! Do, 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 do. Come on. Oh, that's the stairs. Uh, well, let's at least see. Is it a new floor? Ooh. Harder ant. Don't you dare put me to sleep, you whore. Called a somnol. Somnol ant. Somnol ant. Okay, so it is another floor. Let's not go to a new floor yet. Only because I don't know what kind of harder enemies will might be down there. Kind of hoping for another level up, honestly. Also kind of wish I didn't walk all the way over here, because now I probably can afford the damn better weapon that I wanted earlier. I mean, all this will be worth it in the long run, I'm sure, no matter what. I'm just not- I'm not digging this encounter rate so far, it's absurd. Absurd. This encounter rate is out of control. We're fighting way too many enemies. Gonna have to heal after this fight. Just to be safe. I'm actually kind of amazed that I didn't get another level up yet. Quick save. how the first one would have been if not for the updated version. Well, whatever, man. This version of this game has a lot of battles. Okay, that's a dead end. Did I already go? Uh, no. Running away. Not dealing with those fuckers. Tombola ticket? What the fuck is a Tombola ticket? Hello? Try your luck at Tombola! Don't mind if I do! What the fuck is Tombola? Like a lottery? Also, the rest of this is just dead ends. Huh? Okay, well, maybe I should just... Oh, shit, I should have attacked the snake. Uh, 
Don't poison me, Snake. Always focus your attack on the thing that will hit you with a status effect. <sighs> I'm gonna guess that the Prince is not here, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I think because I'm so close to the entrance, and I think I have enough money to buy the other piece of armor now, I definitely do. Or the weapon, rather. Buy the better weapon now. I'm gonna go buy the other weapon, and then I'll go deeper in here. Tombola is a lottery-style board game which originated in southern Italy. A variation of the game is popular form of raffle in the UK. So basically it's like bingo. So basically it's just a lottery. I'm guessing it's just a lottery in this game in particular. Also, yo, another new kind of ant. We've already seen three kinds of ants. Army ants. Also, apparently these ones multiply. Oh my god. What a fucking pain in the ass that is. Jesus. That's no bueno. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Maybe the prince, like, went, already moved on to try to go to the next town, Moonbright, or Moon... What is it? Moonlock? Moon... Moon Moon? Moonlock? Was it Moonlock? Something like that. It had Moon in the name, that much I know. Moonbrook. Okay, that, that actually sounds right. Maybe he's dead. Eh, that's fine. If he's dead, he's dead. If he dies, he dies. Anyway, I'm gonna stop by town, buy the better weapon, and then I'm gonna go ahead and check this other cave that's supposed to lead to Moonbrook. At least that's what I remember them describing it. As much as I do want to explore that other cave, I feel like he's not gonna just be in a random cave that nobody told me to go to. He could also be undead. Solid point. Stop making so much good points, Sprite Limit. Ah, <sighs> anyway, let's get that chain slickled. Hell yeah, baby. Of course thou wilt. Yes, yes you can. Actually, I don't want to buy anything, I want to sell. Sell, sell, sell. I'm gonna sell this copper sword. I'm guessing the new boy not gonna be able to wear this shitty ass. Or will have better stuff that he can wear than the armor and the sword. I just want a helmet. I don't have a helmet. What am I doing here? I just want to find this fucking prince motherfucker. Maybe he's with the princess. Hey, you seen your brother? Wait. My beloved brother is an adult pated doddler of some renown. Should a diversion present itself upon its way through the world? Should a... Okay. Maybe that's my hand. What would be his diversion? I wonder. Hmm. Did I... Oh, fuck. Did I stay at the end there? I don't think I did. No! I did not stay at the end there. Let's stay at the end. Let's get full HP. That's the item shop. Never mind. Ugh. Still trying to get remember, get everything, all the buttons and stuff down. Okay, so the cave should be just somewhere right over here, or the shrine, or whatever the hell it is. Maybe he's here. Basically, anywhere he could go off to the side and get distracted, which I'm guessing that cave over to the west could be possible, but I feel like that's way off to the west. Have you journeyed into the shrine which lieth in the south of Hall? No. Wait. Yes? Adventure of far as two perilous undertaking. Oh. His prince, uh, His Majesty has decreed that you may not pass until such time you have joined forces with the Prince of 
So, I can't go this way until I have met the prince. Um... Okay. I'm not allowed. Mommy said I'm not allowed, guys. Oh, that sh Oh, I can get there, can't I? To the south of... Okay, I didn't even know... I didn't know I could get down there. I see now. To the south of the first castle. I didn't realize I could actually get there. Well then. I should have probably explored that, the situation, because there are two other spots on this continent that I didn't actually check, or at least see if I could get to them. There's one to the wet, more, more, like, if you look at the map, the other one that's in the top tippy thing, I don't know if I can get there either. I might be able to, but I'm not going to try yet. I'll work my way down to this shrine to the south. Maybe he's down there. I'll definitely try and make sure I can rule out every single place on this map before I do anything else now. And every enemy in this area should be well uh, owned at this point. Nothing around here puts too much fear into the heart of me. <laughs> Assumingly that Whatever's across this bridge down here isn't going to kick my ass. Let's see what we got. Immediately cross the bridge and fight it in. Good times. Good times, baby. Trying to decide if I like this battle music the same or better than Dragon Quest 1. It's definitely less nostalgic for me, because I know the battle music in Dragon Quest 1 already. And I, like, just tacking on what I already knew about it. And the remix was pretty okay. I guess it's less like... I don't know, something about the one in Dragon Quest 1 was more like blaring, like it blared at you every time you ran into a fight. This one doesn't feel quite as egregious. It's kind of just feels more like background music than it does. It's like, you know, it's not like like some Final Fantasy shit. Anyway, we're here. Well met, Prince. Long have I awaited your coming. Hearken unto me, for I have something to tell you. In this world of ours, you will you find both gold and silver locks, and gold and silver keys to fit them. Seek first the silver key. Tis secreted within a cave, west of Canock, girt all about with a great lake. But before you seek it, you must needs find a companion with whom to enter the perilous place. Should you be so cocksure as to venture inside alone, most assuredly will it cost you your life. Wow. He's talking about my cock and shit? You leave my cock out of the conversation, good sir. Alright. So the silver key is in that that dungeon I was in to the left. So I'm guessing then the prince has to be in the last place on this continent. Also, uh-oh. It's a spirit, guys. Run away. Never mind. I'm already hella strong, so... I'll sickle that spirit. He ain't nothing. He twerent nothing. Are we gonna work our way up here? And hope that he's out here at this other freaking whatever it is. I don't know if it's a shrine or a cave or a town or whatever, but we're going to go up here and find out if I can even get there. I hope it's where he's at. It's literally the only other place on the map. And the dude just told me I shouldn't go do that dungeon that I was in a minute ago until I have a companion. God damn it. Well, these rat scallions shall fall before. Honestly, you prefer the Dragon Quest 3 battle theme better than the others in this trilogy? Well, I haven't gotten there yet, X Gamer, but when I do, I surely will make comparisons. Hey, it's a heal slot. Can he heal himself? Don't care. Maybe I care a little bit. Kill him! There it is. There it is. Yeah, if it's more than one, fuck it. But if there's just one, I can handle that. Alright, we can totally get up here to this thing, whatever it is. Totally. This would totally be an off-to-the-side distraction for a dumb prince to be going to, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? God, I hope so. 
It's the only other place on the map. Truly. At least that we can get to right now. This encounter rate, though. Woo, mama. This is way crazier than the, than the first game. At least, like, this version of it. I don't know how it was on the NES game, but goddamn. This is absurd. I could not get here. Son of a bitch, it is on an island. That's what I was afraid it was going to be. So he's not there. Motherfuck. Or if he is there, I can't get there. Okay, you got to run. You're going to show some friends the randomizer using Twitch. All right. Have fun, allegory. Stream it up, my friend. Okay, so I'm officially back to what the fuck do I do, which is always the best. Where the hell would he have gone? Let me just take a look at the map again. So down there's the shrine that I went to, and he told me to get a friend and come back to him, I guess, when I get the friend. I don't know. That's my castle. That place is on the island. I went up there and already looted that cave of the Wellspring of Heroes. Uh, that's the other town, that's the other castle, and that's the cave to the west. Or the, yeah, the, the west. And that's all of my options that I can go to. Maybe he's just in that cave. Maybe he's just there. And I just needed to go further in. I mean, would he be dumb enough to do that? From what I've heard about him, Maybe. I feel like by the time I get over there, you're gonna be fucking hella strong anyways. Probably handle the damn whole cave by myself, no matter what. Who needs party members? Not this ancestor of Erdrick. Mm -mm. I wanna see if I can get up here. It's a fucking dead end, though. Ay vey, the encounter rate is bull conka nunka lunka. I don't even know what any of those words are. I just said, just making them sound words and stuff. I'm upset. There wasn't so many damn encounters. I guess if I just put some holy water on, I could stop complaining. But again, I don't really want to because this is all worth it. <laughs> damn it. It's just too often. Jesus, man. Literally take like three steps. Do -do -do She need to run into more battles of one enemy, so it goes faster. Alright, let me stop by the castle one more time. Save it up, heal up, save it, and then we're gonna go to the fucking cave again, and I guess we're just gonna do it by myself. Fuck it. If he's there, he's there. If he's not, oh well. Do I have any more antidote herbs? I have one. Okay. I'll just stick it out with one, then. Doobie 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 doobie. Good morrow, friend. Shig doo 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 doo. What a video game. What a video game. What a video game. What a video game. We're definitely getting another level up. Maybe not before we get there, but soon. These guys multiply enough. We certainly will. God damn, man. Can't even take a fucking like 
five steps. <laughs> ah! This game is already driving me nuts. Also, free Chimera Wing! Hell yeah, let's go. Wow, I can't believe I walked that far without running into a fight. That was insane. I never did quick save it, did I? All right, further into the dungeon we go then. Let's do it. All right, heal slime. Seashore existence. Heel slimes look so adorable and happy, don't they? All the way up until the end. Alright. Not nah, gonna fight three of you. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to run away. Alright. Gonna save it again right here. Just in case. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not as bad as I thought. If they do spells, it might hurt more. Regular attacks only do one. Alright, we're okay. Might be a little OP for this already, which is fine with me. Right, we got a treasure. Seed of life. Ooh. HP? Let's do it. Up six? Hell yeah, dude. That's a... Massive improvements. Oop, there's the sizzle sizzle. And that's what I was worried about. I knew they were going to do some spells. That's why they're mages. Gotta be careful. I'm already pretty beast, so... Damage is too crazy. And I'll fight three of these fat boys any day of the week. Actually, these are stronger versions. They're fat rats. But not whatever the hell the other ones were called. They're only slightly different color, though. Let's just go ahead and pop another quick save. Oh, double poison bitches. Okay. Okay. Don't poison me. Just don't poison me, bro. Somehow this is going well still. Also, yo! Another level up, baby! We level 9! <laughs> Hell yeah! Another anecdotal herb. Don't mind if I do. Save that level up. Hell yeah. Keep it moving, dog. Are my ants? Dead ants. Dead ants. Dead ants, dead ants, dead ants. They are dead ants. Those are some dead ants. Uh, fuck it. Let's just check this way first. And, ooh, I found it. Surely you will die if you come here alone. Oh, shit. I don't have enough space? Hold up. I don't have enough space for this shit, really? All right. That's fine with me. I, could, I needed the heal anyway, so that's fine. Hell, 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 yeah. I really thought this was going to be a longer dungeon, but again, this is still early in the game, to be fair. The map still has many wonders waiting for your boy. So, assumedly, that's the end of this dungeon. I just need to finish looking off to the side over here and then we can get the hell out of here already. And again, gotta find that damn prince. Good job on getting your first key. I mean, assumedly, it opens up all silver key doors. That's how I understood it, anyways. Hey, just a couple more treasures. Don't mind me. Fuck the cobra. Who needs a fucking prince when you can have a prince? Aren't I a prince? I just need to have another prince. About to be two princes and a princess someday, maybe? Chimera Wing? Alright. No. Hold off on that. 240 coins, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do a, do away with one of these anecdotal herbs. 
use it but nothing happens, then discard that shit. Wait, transfer? Oh, transfer between two different characters. Ah, this is why we need more characters. That's fine. Discard that shit. We got one of these for free anyways. I'd rather have one of these for free. Because I can just teleport the hell out of here, can't I? Hell yeah. Let's go back to, uh... Let's go back to Maidenhall. No, let's go to Canock. What? Oh. I can't do it from a dungeon? What's the point, then? For the sake of this game, you're identified as the hero. But we're a prince, aren't we? I'm the son of the king. I'm a prince. Call me what you will, I'm the son of the king. I am prince. Alright, well anyway... I actually wanted to attack... Oh fuck, I got poisoned? I didn't even know these slimes could poison you. That's the first time they actually hit me and it poisoned me. True, that was a long walk without any monsters. I didn't even think about how long of a walk. The game's got me so fucking used to fighting so many fights, I don't even notice when I don't fight one for a minute there. Crazy. Plus, I was babbling away about something. Okay, now let's use one of the Chimera Wings. The main reason I want to go to Canock is maybe the Canock. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to go to Canock, actually. I actually wanted to go to the town. Well, shit. Uh, I'm already here. I might as well heal. Might as well. Actually, we can, like, check doors, right? Let's check doors. I don't know if you can tell the difference between a silver door and a, and a gold door. Like, is this a gold door? You don't have the right key, man. Yeah. Definitely is not the right key. Okay. The reason why the wing doesn't work is actually shown in later DQ games. Well, he sa it says he throws it in the air. I'm assuming that's because you actually fly into the air. But if you're in a cave, you can't really fly into the air, can you? I mean, that makes sense. I don't really need that explained. I think I understand it. Just, I was hoping, okay? I just wanted it to work, man. Blind? What am I blind about? Ah, damn it. What am I blind about? Damn it, dragon. Now I gotta go back. What did I miss? Was there another door here? Also, hey, Flitchard, welcome to the stream. Was I watching you last night? I don't know, were you? I don't remember you being in the chat last night. Why you call me blind, dragon? There's nothing new here. What did I not see? Oh, so you were waiting for someone who was playing Mario RPG? Yeah, I was not playing Mario RPG yesterday. I'm not sure why you're calling me Blind Dragon. Yeah, I'm still looking for the prince. I'd rather you didn't say anything, though, Flitchard. You say nothing. Oh, yeah, I was playing Final Fantasy Adventure yesterday. That's right. I kind of forgot that I was. I don't know why you call me blind, dude.
I'm very confused. I hate when Dragon does that. Yeah, I already went over to the spring. I already got the silver key. I already went down to that one shrine. Anyway, I'm just looking around right now. I'm still trying to find the fucking friends, but... Yeah, I'm looking. Oh my god, he's here. Here, uh, this is him, dude. It is I, Kane, Prince of Canock. And if I'm not mistaken, thou art Funky G of Mindenhall, correct? At long last, I have searched for thee high and low. Come, let us join forces and together smite the evil that plagueth our realm. Yes! We found him. So I should have checked here earlier. Because this is this technically would be out of the way. Man. Did I not come in here? I don't think I ever came back in here. No, I don't need that again. I'm good. Oh, uh, motherfucker. Okay, so I got the silver key. Is there any doors here that are silver? This one? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome, challenges of chance, the home of Tombola! Yes, sir! So, friend, wilt thou set the wheels of fate in motion this day? Yup. And wouldst thou feign to hear the great game explained prior to spinning the wheel reels of destiny? Yes, please. When the reels of the engine of fate do commence to turn, press... Thine A button to call each of them and to halt. Should the three reels mark that, son bro, thus come into alignment, the ultimate prize of a loyalty card shall be thine! If the symbol of a star should come to rest three abreast, meanwhile the second prize of a prayer ring shall be thy reward. All the other symbols of the prizes away, it shall be thy pleasure to discover them all. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Oh my. Oh, and there's delay on it, too? I'm never gonna time this myself. Just hit the button, man. Whatever, whatever. Oh, man, I got two. Alas, so near and yet so very far. Let me to present thee with another ticket by way of commiseration. Wait, another ticket? Why do I just... Do I just try again? mash it. Hope that we get all of them. Oh, dang. I was pretty close there. Huh. Every time you played this, you never won one time? Alright. This is the rest of the stream, guys. We're gonna play till we win. Here we go. No, I don't need to know the rules again. One. Two. Three. I didn't even look. I closed my eyes. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. I haven't even had the chance to, like, check out my new party member yet. I'm busy playing Tombola over here. Ha one. Ha two. Ha three. Three completely different shapes. M.A. Oh, wait, he didn't give me a ticket that time, did he? No, he did not. Ah, okay. So I guess if you don't get too matched, he doesn't give you a new ticket. Well then. We learned something today. 